Javier Coronel Velasquez from Spain. I am an astroparticle physicist working on CTA. Currently, I'm doing my PhD at the Institute for Theoretical Physics in Madrid, Spain. As a researcher, I specialize in high energy astrophysics focused on cosmology. I am working on dark matter detection with gamma rays. Dark matter is one of the most intriguing mysteries of modern physics, moving up to the 25% of the total energy content of the universe, but whose ultimate nature is still unknown. We have several proofs of the existence of dark matter, mainly due to its gravitational effects, but we keep working to unveil what it is. Although dark matter is not expected to be seen in any wavelength, some of the most popular models offer indirect proofs of it. For example, the weakly interactive massive particle, or WIMP, predicts the self-annihilation of dark matter into known particles, such as quarks, which will also emit gamma rays in the process. These gamma rays can be detected by CTA, and therefore can favor or rule out this hypothesis. Another popular model are actions, particles which transform into gamma rays and vice versa in the presence of magnetic fields. Again, CTA could detect these gamma rays and constrain this possible dark matter model. Many dark matter models have been constrained over the years with different gamma ray experiments such as the Fermilat Space Telescope MAGIC, HES or VERITAS. Each of these experiments have different sensitivities and cover different energy ranges, while CTA will improve the sensitivity of all of them and become complementary in certain energy ranges. With CTA combined with all these instruments, we will probe all the interesting parameter space for the dark matter models with an unprecedented resolution which can finally shed some light on the nature of this cosmic puzzle. Believe it or not, astrophysics is much more present in our daily life than we think. Technologies such as microwaves, GPS or CCD sensors for digital photography have been invented or developed in the context of astrophysics. Of course, astrophysics try to answer fundamental questions, but in the process, it needs cutting-edge technology which directly impacts and improves our lives. Being a PhD student can be very different from other kind of jobs. Many friends have more typical jobs with a fixed routine and schedule. Being a PhD student is more dynamical and flexible, although of course can be also be more stressful. Like everything, it has pros and cons. But you have the feeling to be working for yourself, because in the end, the better you do your job, the better PhD you get, so it's a very rewarding experience. And regarding the future, that's a forbidden question for a PhD student, of course. It is very uncertain. I would like to continue in the academic world, but of course, it will depend on the available offers. Well, actually, I was very interested from a relatively young age in studying physics, probably due to lots of sci-fi movies and video games. When I started at university, the Higgs boson had just been discovered, so everybody was pretty excited about it, and we all wanted to study particle physics and become part of it, etc. But as I learned more and more about astrophysics, I became more interested in it. I actually finished my bachelor degree and started my master's degree without a clear idea of where to focus, either astrophysics or particle physics. But fortunately, I met my PhD supervisor who taught a subject called astroparticle physics, which I didn't know it existed, and combined the best of both worlds. CTA is a huge collaboration of over 1,000 people coming from almost every part of the world with very different and diverse backgrounds. For a PhD student like me, it is very exciting to be able to work with so many people, from PhD students to senior scientists. It is an incredible opportunity to learn lots of new things and different point of views.